ProRail wants to make management and maintenance safer and cheaper. To achieve this, it is necessary to know the exact location and status of each object. Asset management and innovation have investigated whether RFID technology can help in achieving this objective. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. This is the system whereby small devices called tags can pass information to a reader through wireless transmission. This technology is used in the Dutch public transport chip card system, which uses gates that read chip cards. RFID can be used in combination with sensors to help ProRail determine the condition of the permanent way from a train passing over the track. This avoids the need for human inspection of the track and thus improves overall railway safety. It also improves the possibilities for carrying out condition-based maintenance. Asset management and innovation have built a model track to test and demonstrate the possibilities of RFID. As part of this program, an open day was held, during which ProRail staff and other interested parties could learn about ProRail's progress in the area of RFID. Objects in the track, such as switches, can be equipped with RFID tags. A reader mounted under the train can read the tags in these objects as the train passes over them. It is also possible to couple RFID tags to sensors. This can be used, for example, to read out the temperature, resistance or humidity of an object. The RFID technology also works outdoors on real track. A trial showed that a reader under a train was able to read tags even at 140 km per hour. The trial also established that the tags remained firmly fixed at the chosen locations. It is thus technically possible to use RFID technology for railway infrastructure applications. There are many, many potential uses, including registration of theft, stock management, recording the maintenance history of objects, digital hectometer marking, geographic positioning for the interpretation of measurement data, condition monitoring of switches, monitoring of level crossing closure durations, climate monitoring of relay cabinets, and incident detection.